Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. This is a problem for the five number summary. All right, uh, the first thing you want to do here is uh, order them from either greatest to least or least to greatest. I'm going to order it from least to greatest. Okay, so I look through it, I see that negative 12 is my least and follows negative 5. Then 2, 3, then 4, then I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 20, and 25. All right, one, uh, one thing I like to do is uh, count them to see whether or not I'm gonna have two numbers in the middle or uh, one number. This can help me determine what the median is. So I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna see how many total numbers I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So having 11 numbers is gonna tell me that I'm gonna have one number in the middle, which can help me easily find uh, one part of the five number summary, which is our median. So I'm going to start canceling out one, a couple numbers at a time from each side to find what my median is. I'm going to take out 12, 5, 2, 25, 20, 11. As I get closer, I'm going to take off 1, 3, and 10. Four, nine. It shows me that 8 right here is my median. In 5 number summary, our median is also going to represent quartile 2. So I'm going to put Q to underneath. Next, I'm going to find quartile 3 and 1. To do that, since it is an odd number, I don't need to worry about including 8. So I'm going to only look at one half and then the other half to find quartile 1 and quartile 3. So I'm going to use from 9 to 25 and 12, negative 12 to 4. I'm going to do the same thing as I did to find our median on each side to find quartile 1 and quartile 3. I'm going to, take a, I'm going to cancel out 12, negative 12, 4, negative 5, 3, and have 2 in the middle. So from here, 2 would represent quartile 1. And then the same thing over here. 9, 25, 10, 20, and have 11 right here as quartile 3. Now that we've found our quartile 1 and quartile 3, uh, now we need to determine what would be our minimum and maximum. Uh, from the five number summary, we can't determine that 25 and negative 12 is our minimum and maximum. We need to first find our uh, interquartile range to help us determine whether or not that would be our minimum or maximum. To find the interquartile range, we're going to use Q3 and Q1. So, and all we're going to do is subtract Q1 from Q3. So it's Q3 minus Q1. And then, so it's 11, which is Q3, minus 2, which is Q1. So our interquartile range is 9. From there, we're going to try to find our usual min and usual max. 
to do that, we got to use this equation right here. It's usual min. And this would be q1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range. So all we got to do from here is plug in 2 and 9. So the 2 minus 1.5 times 9, which is our interquartile range. From here, we do 1.5 times 9. 1.5 times 9, which gives us 13.5. And we continue solving. So 2 minus 13.5 would give us 11, negative 11.5. 11 this will give us our usual min. And we're going to do the same thing for to find our usual max. So this time, instead of subtracting, we're going to add. So it's going to be usual max equals Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. And then it's 11 is our Q3 plus 1.5 and 9. We already know what 1.5 times 9 is from here, which is 13.5. So it's going to be 11 plus 13.5. And all we got to do is add this up, which will give us 24.5. So looking at our usual min and usual max, we can determine whether or not from our data what numbers will be considered an outlier. From our data, 24.5 should be as high as the numbers go. And we can see that 25 is outside of that. So that's considered an outlier. So we can say 25 is an outlier. And negative 11.5 is the least it can go to. And we can see that negative 12 falls outside of that. So that is considered an outlier as well. So I'm going to say uh, 25 is an outlier. Negative 12 is also an outlier. So from determining this, we can't say that 25 and negative 12 is our minimum and maximum. So we got to move over to the next number, next greatest number, which is 20, and next smallest number, which is negative 5. Those two numbers would be considered our min, our true min, and our max. So we found Q1, Q2, Q3, our minimum and maximum, which makes the five number summary.